everyone, welcome back. And today I'm celebrating mine and Popcorn's one year anniversary. That is like almost unreal because we've got up to so many adventures. It has just gone so quick. And I, I'm just speechless almost because I'm gonna keep on saying this, but Popcorn is like my heart horse. I don't know what I would have done without him. He is just one in a million and yeah, he's just absolutely amazing. And the amount of adventures that I've got up to with him and I've always got this picture in my head. It's, it's in the intro as well. It's when I went to cross country with Popcorn, it was in the summer and he was really golden. Um, Mum, when you're editing this, can you quickly pop a picture up? And it was when, after we've gone over this jump, I was wearing my glacé navy and then he just started bronking. And I just, when I say one year anniversary, I always think of that. I could barely ride when I got popcorn and he has taught me so much in the last 12 months. He has literally been my riding instructor. <laughs> He's just taught me everything, basically. I mean, my actual human riding instructors have taught me loads as well. He has also just looked after me so much. He's literally my dream pony. I am so lucky that he's in my life. He's just one in a million, and he's absolutely amazing. And we're gonna take it right back to the day that we viewed popcorn, and bearing in mind, I could not ride at this point. Like, I almost had no experience in riding, so I look quite bad. But you are just gonna see how much popcorn has taught me in these last 12 months, and how much that I've grown as a rider. So here are the clips of my first time ever seeing and riding popcorn. Today I'm going to be viewing a pony. Um, I'm really excited. I am just so excited. We're going to view the cutest pony ever. Guess what his name is? It's Popcorn. That is just, it's so cute. He's a Palomino gelding. I think he's 13 too? Yeah. So 13 too. And I am just so excited. This is just a beautiful place. Like, it's really sunny as well today. It's, oh wow, I just, I'm so excited. Um, we're gonna tack him up and everything. We're gonna do some schooling. And For a lifetime of I love yous, two hearts, one beat, you whisper to me. I know we've waited and we've prayed And here we are for a lifetime mm. For a lifetime Every day I swear I need you with each glance, I love you more and more. Our walls came crumbling down. Now hand in hand we soar. For a lifetime of our love yous, two hearts, one beat, you whisper. So I've just got home and that was unbelievable. He's the perfect pony. As soon as I got on him, tacked him up, groomed him, I knew, I knew it was gonna be him. So it was actually really nice as they let us like pretty much do everything. Um, he was already, he was rugged up and everything in his stable when we got there. So it gave us like a good opportunity to get to know him and everything. So we unrugged him, 
absolutely perfect. Um, and then the saddle, he was just perfect. Um, he did just like do a Philly, some silly faces, but that was fine. I mean, who doesn't do a few silly faces? <laughs> And as you can see, I was an absolutely terrible rider. I was just going, my hands were up here and I was just bouncing all over his back. And the thing that we loved most was he did not speed up. He just kept on a nice steady circle. I didn't know anything really much about riding. I'd only walk and trotted basically, and that was in riding schools. Now I was gonna get my very own pony. So, yeah, but he was just absolutely amazing. He didn't speed up, nothing. And when I got on him, he was really steady. He, he kept on like slowing down and just like checking on me to see if I was okay. And that was the thing that I really loved most. But now he's kind of got to learn that, oh, Harlow's not that bad. Let's um, put some cheeky bits in, <laughs> make this a bit fun. <laughs> so he is a bit cheeky now, he does put in the occasional buck or bronc. Um, he's never reared, he's so good like that. But, and I know when he does buck, he just does it for a bit of fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I normally can sit to all of his broncs and he only broncs or bucks when he is extremely excited. Hence when we take him anywhere and when we put the arena hire vlog up, you can see he was trying to put his head down to Bronk and that was because he was having a very, very good time. He has definitely found his spice now and when Harlan gets on him, he literally, Popcorn literally goes into granddad mode or grandpa mode and he's just, just so, not lazy, but just plodder literally and he's just, he takes care of him so much. Um, Popcorn does take care of me as well, but when we are out, he does get very, very excited. I love that he's got a really spicy side and then he's got a bit of a grandpa, grandpa slash granddad side. Um, I do love that about him because he can just switch modes when there's a different rider on him. So this morning, Popcorn, my new pony, has had his vetting. Um, I'm so excited. He's on his way down here. Well, I'm not at the yard right now but he's on his way to the yard. Um, where he's at recently right now is about two hours away, so quite far, but not too far, and I'm just literally buzzing. It means that this is your pony. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, you're very excited. It's an absolute angel. Yes, that's definitely fun. I can see him. I'm excited, everyone. I can't get past him. He's been an absolute diamond. I think he's in his hair. Hello, oh, lovely. Popcorn! <laughs> Hello! Oh, there he is. <laughs> Oh, do you want to hold him? Yeah. Hi. Hello. You're a good boy. Now let's talk about some of my favourite memories from the last 12 months with popcorn. So I definitely think my one metre jumping popcorn was very, very memorable. It was a huge achievement because when I got popcorn, even though I could barely go over a cross pole, I always wanted to jump one metre on him. And as, I, as I've got more capable, I've almost, I've come more brave basically. And I don't think I would have jumped one metre on any other pony. He gave me all the confidence that I needed to jump one metre. 
Um, I'm just so proud of him. Another favourite memory of mine that always sticks in my mind is the first time that I went to cross country with Popcorn and he was having so much fun. It was in the summer so he had his golden coat and I was wearing the navy Lemieux glacé and we were, we just come over this like house, it was wooden and we just come over it and then a couple strides later he was like that was so fun and then he just you know, put his head down casually in between his front legs and he just started bronking. They weren't big or anything and he was just pure excitement at that point. And it was really funny. And then when we were coming out the water, I had my friend Lexi there on Fifi and we were coming out the water and Popcorn just started rodeoing. I didn't fall off or anything. It was like loads of little bunny hops in a row and he just started doing those and it was hilarious. Everyone was laughing. And that was the first time he'd ever bronked with me and I was like, oh my gosh, what was going on? But then when they told me it was just some little bronx or bunny hops, I was a bit relieved. And another very, very memorable moment of mine was galloping along the beach on popcorn. That was so memorable. And I remember when he stopped, my eyes were watering because we were going that fast. Um, and when we come to like a walk, um, I turned him back around and he just whoosh straight down the beach again and it was very very funny but very very fun at the same time. It has always been a dream of mine to gallop along the beach. It was just so much fun and I again I wouldn't have done it on any other pony apart from Popcorn because he just makes it that bit more exciting and that bit more just funner or funnier as well. And maybe let's talk about some of my falls now because there has been a lot. So my first ever fall on popcorn was when we did an arena hire and I was approaching this 85 centimeters and I was very scared. I was very scared. And I was like, oh my God, is he gonna jump it? Let's go popcorn, please jump this. And then he could feel that I was a bit nervous. So he was a bit nervous and he refused it. And I kind of went over his head and I went into the jump. He just refused it. Um, I don't blame him because I was quite nervous and horses can feel your nerves. So if you're scared approaching a jump, wipe those nerves out of the way because your horse feels the nerves. So I was a bit scared and then I fell off and then I went into the jumper, but I was absolutely fine after. And I was wearing my brand new skull cap as well. So I think Popcorn was crash testing it. I did have to replace my hat after that fall because I did hit my head. And if you do fall off and hit your head, you have to replace your hat. So, cause it's just for safety and a lot of other falls. It was in one lesson. I was doing bareback jumping for the first time and <laughs> it, I fell off quite a lot of times. It said in the vlog at the bottom, oh, I can't remember how many times I fell off, but I fell off a lot. I must have been six or seven. And I don't know what happened to me that day. I was just really, I didn't have a good seat that day at all. If you know me, I love bareback riding and no stirrups. My mum absolutely hated no stirrups, but I absolutely love no stirrups. I don't know what it is. like. I don't know if I just want to be good at doing, because I love watching on Instagram or whatever it is of those dressage riders when they do their sitting trot and they're doing the extended trot. Oh my God, it just satisfies me so much. I kind of want to do it on popcorn, but my, my sitting trot isn't really that good with stirrups. Uh, and I find it quite hard to sit his trot because he is quite bouncy, especially in his canter. His canter is quite smooth when you're watching it, but when you're riding him, it's very bouncy. Like the viewing when we viewed him and like six weeks when we got him, I could not sit his canter. So yeah, I'm very, very lucky that it didn't take me that long to sit his canter. And now I can just sit his canter bareback and I can just literally do this. And it has just been, better than I could ever imagine owning a first pony. It has been so incredibly memorable. He's just so funny the way that he smiles. I've got bit, one too many photos on my phone of Popcorn smiling. Oh yeah, also another very, very before, 
I end this. Another very, 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 very memorable memory is when I was turning 10, I think, I was doing this TikTok dance and with my friend Lexi and Popcorn, as soon as the music started and we got into our places, Popcorn just poked his head over the stable door and started smiling and it wasn't even just, he was just sitting with his head like that and smiling. He started bobbing his head almost to the music while smiling and it was really, really funny. And that was my favorite TikTok ever. And I just wanna thank you all so much for all your lovely, supportive messages. You're all so kind. You, you've, you've been a part of this, if you're watching this right now. You've almost helped me along the journey. You've all really spurred me on to be a different rider and the best rider that I can be. But now I've got to go and ride popcorn. So yeah, let's go. And here are Popcorn's very, very muddy legs. And one thing that I've learned in the past year is Palominos are quite hard to keep clean, especially in the winter. So Popcorn's summer coat is about two weeks away from fully showing its shine. He's already started to turn golden, but he's got his, his belly's kind of white. You've half transformed, haven't you? And one of the things that I love about Popcorn is in the summer, he goes really golden. And then in the winter, he goes like a, almost like a yogurty, 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 creamy, cremello color. Yeah, yeah, he's nodding. He's like a colour changing pony basically, aren't you? Yeah, Mwah. love you. Forrest, you okay? 
<laughs> Forest! <laughs> what, what are you doing? What was that sound? What are you doing? Oh, look at his shavings on his back. Oh my God, Forest, have you inhaled some shavings? <laughs> Also, I forgot to say I'm wearing brand new merch right now. I'll leave a link in the description box down below so you can just check it out because, I mean, this is very, very cool. It says, Harley on Popcorn. I think we need to get some new styles for Cloudy because we can't forget about the cute little fluff ball that he is. Hi, Forrest. Also, I love Forrest's little, it's almost like a moon on his face. You can see it there. Uh, hi! <laughs> you can kind of see it. Forest is very sweet. Popcorn is obsessed with Forest. When Popcorn is coming in from the yard, that way Forest pokes his head out the window and they start whinnying to each other. Don't you? Also, Popcorn has never ever stayed in a different stable whilst he's been here. He's always been in this stable. So this is his, this is his home. He has had quite a few different horses stay in the stable that Forrest is in right now, but Popcorn has always stayed in this stable, and I don't think he really minds who's next to him, but he's he's kind of got a special connection with Forrest because they whinny to each other. Forrest is a lot younger than Popcorn though. Forrest is like three or two. So I'm just gonna have a go at a flying change because whilst I was warming up, I thought I'd change the diagonal on like a 20 meter circle. You'll see what I mean in a second. And it went really well when he did a flying change, so. <laughs> He's such a good boy. He learns very quickly as well. He's a very good boy. Good boy. He's such a good boy. He learns something like new every time we ride, I must say. But that is a huge achievement. Good boy. Because it's such a beautiful evening, I'm gonna ride in the outdoor. I'm all warmed up, so I'm just gonna get ready and go. And we'd say we do for the rest of our lives with all that we have we do and we will when 
Choose you. 